This is how you can draw this awesome compass star inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Dia Graphics. So the first thing we want to do is activate the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Then zoom into the middle a little bit. Now select the rectangle tool and while holding down the shift key, draw a square inside one of these squares right here. Then select the color for the fill. In this case, I'll select my brand colors. Then go to the stroke and unselect the stroke. Now we need the direct selection tool. So click the tool and with the direct selection tool, select this corner right here. Then grab this anchor point right here and drag it two diagonal squares up. So one and two. Then go to the selection tool, select the entire shape, then go to the rotate tool and while holding down the ALT key to get these dots next to the cursor, click this anchor point right here. Then type in 90 degrees and click copy. And to copy this step, simply click CTRL D. Now pick the line tool and draw a line right across these spikes right here. Then draw another one in the other side. Go to the selection tool and select the entire artwork Go to the Pathfinder panel. If it isn't open, you can go to Window and find the Pathfinder panel right here. Then go to this button right here that says Divide. And after dividing the shapes, right click it and click Ungroup. So now we got all these individual shapes. Then select all the shapes. And while holding down the Shift key, rotate the shape 45 degrees. And now we can add the secondary color. Now, if you want to add a stroke around the star, we cannot just select the star, click the stroke and add the stroke. Because as you'll see, if I bump up the stroke, the spikes will be very weird. And also it will affect the middle so it doesn't look nice. So here's what you want to do instead. Simply just select the entire star. And obviously I have to unselect the stroke I just did. Now go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and select paste in front. Now I have a copy of the star on top of the other star. So with this top copy selected, go to the Pathfinder panel once again and select this button right here that says Unite. Now we have one united shape on top of the other star. So with this shape selected, simply reverse the colors so you have a stroke instead of a fill. And this stroke you can give a color and you can make it wider if you want to. This way the spikes will be nice and pointy and it will not affect the middle of the star. So now select the entire star, right click the star and click group. Then zoom out a little bit. Then go back to the selection tool, click edit, click copy, then click edit again and paste in back this time. This means we now have a copy of the star underneath the original star. So with the copy selected, go to this corner right here and while holding down the shift key, Rotate the copy of the star 45 degrees. And now we want to shrink the star down, but before we do that, go to the transform panel. If it isn't open, you can find this in window as well. Then go to this drop down menu right here and make sure to uncheck scale strokes and effects. Now we can go to the corner of this star and while holding down the shift key and the alt key, simply shrink the star just a tiny bit. And the reason why we unchecked scale strokes and effect is to keep the width of the stroke while we are scaling the star down. As you can see, the stroke is still the same width as this one right here. So now we just need to add the letters. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.